Making perfect bread at home requires attention to detail and patience, but the results are incredibly rewarding. Here's a basic recipe and some tips to help you achieve success. Ingredients 500 grams bread flour, or a mix of bread and whole wheat flour. 10 grams salt. 7 grams instant yeast. 320 milliliters lukewarm water. Instructions Mixing the dough. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Make a well in the center and add the yeast. Gradually pour in the lukewarm water while stirring with a wooden spoon or your hands until a shaggy dough forms. Once the dough comes together, turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and knead for about 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. You can also use a stand mixer with a dough hook attachment for this step. First rise, bulk fermentation. Place the dough in a lightly greased bowl, cover it with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap, and let it rise in a warm, draft-free place for about 1 to 2 hours, or until it doubles in size. This step is crucial for developing flavor and structure in the bread. Shaping the dough Once the dough has doubled in size, gently punch it down to release the air bubbles. Turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and shape it into a smooth ball or loaf shape. Place the shaped dough onto a parchment-lined baking sheet or into a greased loaf pan, cover it with a kitchen towel, and let it rise for another 30 to 60 minutes, or until it puffs up slightly. Second rise, proofing. Preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, during the final 20 to 30 minutes of the dough's rise. Once the dough has finished proofing, slash the top with a sharp knife or razor blade to allow for expansion during baking. Baking the bread. Place the dough in the preheated oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes, or until the crust is golden brown and the bread sounds hollow when tapped on the bottom. If you're unsure if the bread is done, you can also use an instant read thermometer inserted into the center of the loaf. It should register around 190 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 88 to 93 degrees Celsius. Cooling and enjoying. Once baked, Transfer the bread to a wire rack to cool completely before slicing. This allows the steam inside the loaf to redistribute, resulting in a better texture. Slice and enjoy your freshly baked bread with your favorite toppings, or use it for sandwiches, toast, or dipping into soups and sauces. Tips for success Use high-quality ingredients for the best flavor and texture. Ensure your yeast is fresh and active, if in doubt, Proof it in some warm water with a pinch of sugar before adding it to the flour. Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic to develop gluten properly. Pay attention to the dough's rise and proofing times. Underproofed bread will be dense, while overproofed bread may collapse during baking. Experiment with different shapes, sizes, and scoring patterns to create visually appealing loaves. Don't skip the cooling step. It's essential for achieving the right texture and flavor in your bread. With practice and experimentation, you'll soon be making perfect bread at home to enjoy with family and friends. Happy baking!